हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सालिम कुरैशी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ आर लेक्चर इज फंडामेंटल ऑफ ए सी एंड डी सी इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइव सो वी नो दैट इन सम ऑफ द कंट्रीज सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टोटल इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी जनरेटेड इज कंज्यूम बाई द इलेक्ट्रिकल मोटर्स तो इलेक्ट्रिकल मोटर्स प्लेज अ वेरी important role in the consumption of generated supply in any country and in this dc motor plays a very significant role in modern industrial drives and to provide the dc motor provide a very high starting torque so as we discussed many times the definition of electrical drives so just let's get a review once again for this for the working operation of a electrical drive likewise here a ac motor is showing in the picture and a load is driven by this motor and it is written that uh, about 50% of electrical energy produced is used in electrical drives today and it may run at constant speed or variable speed further if we go ahead so here uh, there is a block diagram of electrical drive and in this block diagram we are able to see that the load is driven with the help of a motor it may be dc motor it may be ac motor and the output of power processor or we can say power modulator is fed into the motor the feedback is given and sensed with the help of control unit and the supply source is showing in the picture and it may be ac it may be dc likewise if we talk about the block diagram we can conclude that the electrical drive is small in size it is efficient and flexible in nature so if we talk about the components of electrical drives so the main components of drives are the motors and the motors may be ac motor dc motor as i told before dc motor may be a permanent type of wound field and ac motor may be of like it may be induction it may be synchronous it may be brushless dc motor and if we talk about the power sources so the power sources for dc motors are battery the fuel cell the photovoltaic and if we talk about the ac supply ac sources it may be single phase three phase so dc does further classified into two types single phase drives and three phase drives and uh, single phase drives may be subdivided again into single phase half wave converter drives single phase full wave converter drives and single phase dual converter drive in which this a single ac supply is converting into the dc supply and with the help of rectifier section and the drive may be driven with the help of the given supply if we talk about the single phase half converter drives the diagram is showing in this and we will discuss this operation in my upcoming lectures this is the diagram of a single phase half converter drives which is operates in the first quadrant only and if we talk about the single phase full wave converter drives it is a two quadrant drive and it is limited application up to 15 kilowatt this drive operate in a two quadrant and it is showing in the figure now coming to three phase drive it may also be subdivided into three phase half converter drives and three phase full converter drives if we talk about a three phase half converter drive it operates in first quadrant and it is limited to application up to 40 kilowatt only this is its limitation a three phase full wave converter drive is a two quadrant drive and it is limited up to 1500 kilowatt now coming to ac motor drives there are two types of ac drives the first is induction motor drive and another is synchronous motor drive these drives replace dc drives and they can be used in many industrial as well as in domestic applications and a speed control for these induction motor can be controlled with the help of stator voltage control the rotor voltage control and with the help of frequency control as well if we talk about the stator voltage control the stator voltage can be varied by three phase and with the help of ac voltage controllers and also with the pwm that is the pulse width modulated inverters and they are mainly used for low power applications like fan blowers centrifugal pumps etc 
if we talk about the rotor voltage control the typical torque characteristic for very rotor resistance is showing here and with the help of rotor resistance we can control the voltage and the speed of the rotor of the motor can be controlled if we talk about the frequency control so the torque and speed of inertia motor can be controlled by changing the supply frequency if we are, we are able to if we are able to change the supply frequency then we can control the speed and torque characteristic of the motor at low frequency the reactance decreases and the motor current may be high and this type of frequency control is generally used in industrial applications if we talk about the energy and the cost saving so system efficiency can be increased from 15 to 27 percent by the incorporation of variable speed drive in place of constant speed operation now coming to the comparison on the basis of advantages and disadvantages between ac and dc drives so it can be seen that ac motor drives are less expensive if we compare it to with AC, dc motors ac motors requires low maintenance as compared to dc motor but on the other hand power converter for ac drives are very complex circuitry they have very complex circuitry a power converter for ac drive generates harmonics in the supply system and also in the load circuit so coming to the conclusion if we talk about our country in india we are using three phase 50 hertz supply as an input it is known to all and there are so many applications that require higher frequency and phases for better operation of industrial equipments even though we are with same frequency for particular applications keeping economy in the point of view so this was all about the fundamental of ac and dc drives if you have any problem any doubt you can write it to me on my mail id my mail id is given on the title slide of this presentation Thank you so much.